Assalamu alaikum and what's up everyone? Welcome back to another tutorial. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about sky replacement. This is how to replace the sky that is boring like this and turn it and grab a sky that's amazing like this. So I've got these two images right over here. This is gonna be my foreground. This is gonna be my background or my sky and I'm gonna put them together and make an awesome shot. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Now, this is gonna be done in Photoshop. I'm gonna show you the fastest, quickest way that I know how to do it. Now, before you say anything, I know there's a million and one ways to do it. I'm just gonna show you the fastest way that I know how. All right, you ready? Let's jump right in. All right, so you guys are looking at my Photoshop right now, and then you see a beautiful photo of the desert. Looks kind of boring, nothing much going on, and we're gonna turn it into something cool and fun. So I got this other image right over here, which has a beautiful, beautiful orange sky. This is a sunrise out in Dubai, and the sun, the clouds, everything just looks on point. There's only one problem with this image, is I, I didn't want anything obstructing the, the sky when I drop it in there, so I got, this little pole over here that I need to get rid of. So that's not really difficult to get rid of, especially because the background's pretty simple. Uh, just go to the Spot Healing Brush Tool, click on that one time, and then go right over your pole, drop that down really, really quick, nice and easy, and boom, just like that, that pole is gone. Now, you are ready to copy and paste this. So I'm going to click on the left side here, the Move Tool, and I'm gonna hit Command A, which is gonna highlight the entire image. Uh, actually, you know what, before we do that, let's deselect it, sorry about that. Command D, deselect. I got my sky ready, but my, sky, my desert is not ready. I gotta go back to my desert image, I gotta mask out the sky. Now, this is really, really easy to do, this is what you need to take note of. On the top, you're gonna go to Select, you're gonna drop down to Select and Mask, and then, on the right side over here, in the drop down section, you want overlay selected, and then color is red, which indicates the mask area. Now, this is gonna be done one, two, three. You ready for this? All right, we're gonna wipe first, we're gonna select the desert, we're gonna keep the desert and mask out the sky. So one swipe this way, one swipe that way, and we're done. Look at that, it's selected it. Photoshop is smart enough to pick up what you're really trying to get, and the colors are very contrasty, so it notices the difference, excuse me, between the desert and the sky. Now, I'm just gonna smooth it out a little bit, so subtle touches here, uh, feather out the edges, and then a little bit on the contrast, not too much, and yeah, I think that's good enough. Maybe feather it out a little bit more. You don't want rough, harsh edges. And then you're gonna click, then I'm gonna click. Okay, processed it, done deal. Look at that, that was so fast, simple, and easy, right? Now I just gotta drop in my other image, right? So we're done here. Now I'm gonna go and Command A to select the entire image. Command C to copy the image. Then I'm gonna go over to the desert and hit Command V. All right, now it dropped it on the top. I want it to go on the bottom, all right? And then I'm gonna take these corners and stretch them to where it fits. And then we're gonna make some fine, fine adjustments, all right? And how about right there? What do you guys think of that? I think that looks okay, what do you guys think? I think that looks okay. In fact, we can just kind of enlarge it a little bit more and kind of make it really, make that sun really stand out, huh? All right, look at that, look at that, look at that. I think, I think that's the one we want. All right, done deal. Now, we're pretty much done here. We have just replaced the sky. It's transforming, it's doing its thing. All right, I'm going to, uh, let's see, where is it? Layer, flatten image. Okay, so I'm gonna click on layer and then flatten image, and boom, just like that, we are done. 
but I know what I, that, that's it. That's how, you, that's how you replace a sky. Now what I normally would do, which if you guys wanna see this image on my Instagram, TG from Dubai, right over here, I'm gonna take this back into Lightroom, make some fine adjustments on the edge over there, and make the foreground really match more with the background and the sky. You want those colors to be as real as possible, so as if this was really the image. So this is how you do a sky replacement. Sometimes it's necessary for client projects, customers, clients that actually pay for a certain type of marketing and advertising, this is what we would do for them. Uh, myself, as a photographer, I don't normally do shots like this. I normally take straight images. I enjoy the craft of photography where I set up my camera, set up my tripod, you know, choose the lens, do, dial in the settings, and, and then take a shot, and that, that, that's, that's what I love doing. However, uh, it, it, this is part of the business sky replacement is necessary, some people do like it, and for business it is absolutely a necessity, especially if clients are paying for certain advertising material. And uh, yeah, so that's about it, guys. This was a quick, quick uh, vlog tutorial, and if you have any questions, guys, if you like uh, vlogs like this, tutorials like this, it really helps me if you subscribe, drop a comment, and drop a like. I've seen a lot of views from you guys on the, pre on the previous tutorials, which I really appreciate. Just give me a like uh, or a comment, it really helps. And if you guys wanna see my day-to-day -day life on how I do photography, you can check me out on Instagram. Again, TG from Dubai, right over here. We'll, we'll do it right over here, huh? Okay, we'll do it over here. <laughs> TG from Dubai, right over here. Make sure you guys check me out. Um, actually, you know what, I'm gonna move it right over here, sorry about that. So TG from Dubai, right over here, check it out. And uh, this is like, you guys can see the photos just like this and you'll see a lot more of my other images. All right, thanks for tagging along, really appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next one.